In previous lectures, we have seen that wealth is intrinsically good and that God created a world of abundance. We now want to discuss stewardship. Genesis chapter 2, 15 states, The Lord God took the man and put him in the Garden of Eden to till it and keep it. The word which the NRSV translates as till can also be translated as work. The people are to work the garden. It should be noted that the commandment to work the garden is prior to the fall. We are created to work. Work is not the result of the fall. I think many people misunderstand this. Work is a divinely ordained decree of what we are to do. The result of the fall is that work sometimes becomes toilsome. And while the Garden of Eden provided abundance, as a result of the fall, there is often scarcity. Stewardship is the term that we use to refer to the management of resources which are not our own. Though humans are given authority to manage the earth, ultimately, humanity does not own it. Psalm 24, verses 1 through 2 states, The earth is the Lord's, and all that is in it, the world, and those who live in it. For he has furnished it on the seas and established it on the rivers. The psalmist's appeal to creation, the Lord made it. It belongs to him. We see this idea expressed in other places in Scripture as well. The Lord ultimately owns it all. It is the role of mankind to manage it properly. The Hebrew Bible does not use a distinct, a distinct term for steward or stewardship. Rather, a more indirect description is commonly used. For example, a person who is over a house. The primary term for steward in the New Testament is oikonomos, composed of two root words, oikos, house, and nemo, manage. The word for the position of steward is oikonomia. Basically, a steward manages property, and a good steward manages it well. The English term economics derives from the Greek word oikonomia and is closely related. In churches today, today, a divorce between stewardship and economics often occurs. Economics and wealth creation are often left to the world of business, while stewardship is often relegated to the church, where the term denotes tithing or giving to missions. Stewardship involves more than simply management of money. Traditionally, stewardship covers the realms of time, talents, and treasures. A proper understanding of stewardship encompanies all of life. We develop this idea more fully in a second series, Biblical Theology of Wealth and Stewardship. For now, we want to focus on stewardship in the Old Testament and look at two examples of a faithful steward, Abraham's steward and Joseph.